Okay guys, I'm your Okay guys, welcome to my video. I'm your host Asian MA. Uh, if you didn't know the iPod comes with uh, two cameras, one in the front, one in the back. I just thought I'd test out the camera on the back. Uh, I hear that the back camera, you know, this camera, wherever it is, right there, yeah. Uh, it's supposed to be better, you know, so I just want to test it out. So uh, this video I'm giving you my Strike Force uh, Heavyweight Grand Prix uh, thoughts. Uh, this we found this out about like a month and a half ago. Uh, when I first heard about it, I was like, man, you know, Strike Force, their plans, like, it always seems to fall through, man. Like last year, Fader was supposed to like, he was supposed to fight a bunch of times. Uh, he only ended up fighting like two times. Really disappointed about it. And uh, partial, partially because this uh, Grand Prix involves M1 Global. And M1 Global, if you didn't know, they're a bunch of like, like hungry powered pricks, you know, you know, there's no other way to describe it, you know. Their bargaining chip is Fedor, and that's the only thing they have going for them. And they demand so much, so much, man. This co-promotion thing, I don't agree with Strike Force. Uh, Strike Force, you know, uh, they're pretty much like bending over for M1 Global. That's how I see it, man. Uh, honestly, what does M1 Global contribute to this besides Fedor? You know. So, anyways. Those, I didn't think this was going to happen. But finally, I saw the poster, man. Uh, the poster is freaking... It, it got me stoked, man. It got me really, really stoked. Uh, let's run down the fights really quick, okay? On one bracket. On one side of the bracket, okay? Overeem versus Verdum. Fedor versus Bigfoot. Uh, Arlovsky versus Kara Tonoff. Did I pronounce it right? I always think I butcher it. Barnett versus Rogers. You know? Fuck! You know? Fuck! That's what I said when I first like saw it on paper. I said, "Fuck!" You know, that's amazing, man. That's that's damn. That's good. That's good. Exciting, man. Uh, I went online to see other people's thoughts. Some people actually had the nerve to like like bitch about this. And say this isn't a true Grand Prix. You know, it's uh seeded already. You know, it's uh someone seeded. So they they show all the good fights. At least we're gonna see one good fight. You know. It's not a true Grand Prix, so let me get this. Let me get this right. You guys, you know the haters, would rather see uh, Brett Rogers versus uh, Fedor again, or how about how about uh, Alistair Overeem versus Brett Rogers again? You <laughs> know why am I picking on Brett Rogers so much? You guys want to see uh, you know Josh Barnett versus uh, you know Bigfoot Silva? You know it, it makes no meaning behind it. You know. This way, you have it seeded. You, you're guaranteed at least like one super fight, okay? If Verdum wins, you know, he faces Fedor, uh, and vice versa. If, like Fedor wins, he fights Overeem or Verdum. You're guaranteed one super fight. So why, why do people like the Haterade so much? Like, what's so special about the Haterade that makes you like have to hate on everything that someone does, you know? I personally think this is the best way to have it. And, uh, Whoever wins this Grand Prix, they're the number one heavyweight in my books at that certain point in time, okay? Uh, the odds on favor for me is Alistair Overeem. I don't know how Fedor ranks above Alistair, Alistair you know. Uh, Alistair Overeem has been on a tear lately, undefeated at heavyweight. I don't know how you can go against Alistair Overeem, man. Uh, K1, you know. Uh, I think he's going to smash Verdum, you know. Verdum, oh, I'm going to take his other arm. I, 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 you <laughs> You're gonna be knocked out, man. Maybe, maybe you'll take a piece of paper home, you know, saying, uh, you know, you have to wait six months before you can train again because you're getting knocked out. Uh, so yeah, I think it's gonna be Overeem versus Ver or versus Fedor. Overeem's gonna win that. And the other side, clearly, you know who the favorite, like odds-on favorite is. Uh, it's gonna be Josh Barnett. So Josh Barnett versus Overeem. That's how I see the finals going. And uh, I think Alistair's going to take it, and then he's going to be the number one heavyweight in the world. I don't know how anyone can dispute that with uh, this stacked of a field, okay? The field is stacked, man. The only person that they're missing, and, uh, you know, I kind of, I may kind of look foolish for bringing this guy up, but Tim Sylvia, man. If they got Tim Sylvia uh, on this fight card, on this uh, Grand Prix, it would be absolutely like, oh my god. No, this was prior, like, I was thinking about this prior before he lost uh, to the Ultimate Fighter guy, you know, uh, Abe Wagner or whatever, you know. Uh, I thought, man, if they got Tim Sylvie on there, it would be freaking, 
like just stacked with names and everyone would have to, uh, you know, acknowledge that this is a really stacked field, you know. When I say the field is stacked, that means the people that aren't on the odd, like, like, uh, the odds on favor to win. Even the people that aren't the odds on favor, they have a chance to win, man. You know, Redu might be able to pull it through and submit over him. I doubt it, but he might be able to do it. Uh... You know, uh, Arlovski, he still ha he was a champion. He still has all the tools, you know. The only thing that was limiting him was his chin. If he can protect his chin, you know, he has a solid chance to run through, guys. Uh, really interesting fights, man. We're going to see it in February. Dope, man. Really, I don't want to sound black, but I'm just pumped up. This year is starting out with a bang. we got uh, Anderson Silva. We've got the Heavyweight Grand Prix. Uh... If Alistair, or if Anderson wins, we might see a super fight with him and GSP. You know, that's wicked, man. Uh, a lot of exciting fights. The Ultimate Fighter stacked with Brock Lesnar and Junior Dos Santos. That's pretty sweet, man. So many things are happening in MMA this year. Uh, it's going to be a good year for MMA. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on uh, this matter. So, uh, yeah, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this uh, back camera shows some uh, 720p. And uh, yeah, it'll be pretty damn cool, man. Yeah, that's my video. Thanks for watching. It didn't, didn't stop recording. Let's try this again.